Hey, hello, how's it going? Welcome back to another Slice and Dice video. It's me, Cranberry. Hopefully you are doing well today. I'm doing pretty good. Just chilling. No work today, so, uh, yeah. Uh, I got nothing going on. We'll probably, uh... I don't. I don't know what I'm gonna. I. I have no. I have no plans, man. I. I got nothing going on. Uh, but I, hey, listen. I'm playing slice and dice, and you're here too. And that's hopefully enough, right? Maybe. Anyway, uh, let's play. Uh, spoilers for the last video. We did end on a dub. I think there was a loss at first in like the first 15 minutes of the video, if I remember correctly. Uh, and then I did another one, and we won. So that's where we're currently at. Let's see how this one goes. And I've been enjoying the Magical Teams. I'm going to play it again. I'm going to play it again. I know the green is a big liability. But uh, let's do it. Let's do it. It should be fine. Uh, I, I played an unfair run with Voidix. And Perceptive was pretty good. Because it pretty much just guarantees you can get like a really good item every single level. But is it worth giving monsters 50% bonus HP? Or plus one to their damage? I'm not sure. Seems kind of scary. Reanimated bosses... As a seven point curse doesn't feel too bad for unfair. Right, because bones bones in general aren't that scary. The killing them is almost damage neutral because they're going to deal damage to the things around them as well. So it's, you know, four damage in, two damage back out. Not that scary for seven points. And obviously the early game is easy too then. With this, um hmm. My thought right now is something like this. Is reanimated bosses, monster left two, and summoning circle. Doesn't seem too bad. It does feel like as long as we just kill whoever's summoning, it shouldn't be too bad. Um, Reliable. All heroes replace blanks on my middle side. Could be cool if right blank three wasn't here. Like, we had a way to make... Uh, this, or like, like this, these two interact favorably. That'd be really cool. But I don't know what's going to happen. Um, but, uh, yeah, unfortunate. I think we do this. I think this is fine. Slippery Dice is kind of fucked. Shield Response also pretty bad. Let's give this a try. Let's see how it works. Uh, the, forget about the pocket items here. <laughs> Peanut Shell, plus one empty max HP. And that's that's not terrible. We'll put that on Cultist. Uh, Cyanide Pill, not going to be making it onto the team here, unfortunately. And then add Cleanse. Also not making the cut here. We'll put it on Cultus as well because it's funny. And you know what? Here you go. Here you go, Scoundrel. You're going to need that, bud. Okay, so they hate the Scoundrel today. We can keep him alive right now, which is fine. Ideally, we would just kill the wolf this turn. Doesn't look like it's going to happen, though, unfortunately. Yeah, it's not going to happen here today. We can do we can do something like uh, we can do this actually, which is pretty cool. Um, and we can also put a cut on this acolyte here. That's an okay first turn. As long as they don't target the scoundrel again, we should be fine here. Oh, they're they're targeting the scoundrel again. Even then, we'll be fine. We can just put this down. Yeah, it's okay. Um, I need a little bit of mana here, preferably. Okay, that is a lot of bit of mana. Yeah, we do just get to leave the fight. Very cool. Uh, vampire. Pretty easy selection here. Faye. We think about it, it might be a pretty good line here. With Cultus especially, but like, I don't know. I think I just take the guaranteed value on this one. Definitely take that. Okay, not terrible here. So, do we have lethal here? We have pretty... Yeah, we, we do have it actually, because we had to go burst into cut here. And the goblin runs. Okay. Very cool. Replace scoundrel with a generated hero. You know what? Scoundrel's already pretty much a generated hero. Sure, why not? Let's have some fun today. Pretty much the same thing as far as I'm concerned here. Um, maybe a little bit worse on average, but not that big of a difference. Uh, Basilisk scale versus corset here. Basilisk scale could be cool. I'm gonna take Corset though. Corset's a pretty a pretty safe choice here, I feel like. Mainly because we can put it nowhere right now, but we it, bas it basically is an enabler for roulette. Which is pretty sweet for us. Because we do have an orange character. So it's, it's, it's I I value that pretty highly, being able to just like speculatively take 
a, a tier one orange item and just be like, oh, by the way, late game, this will be really good for us. So, yeah. We're going to cut probably here. Kill here. And there's the Thorn run. It's pretty close, but no, not quite. And then Vampire getting paralyzed, or Stone Hero's not that good because we kind of needed one of the two HP hits from Vampire this turn. That might be a little bit of an issue. Oh, you know what? We're good. Oh, it's the wrong stone side. Shit, never mind. Not good, not good. Hmm. Do you, like, infuse into burst here? It's honestly fine for this turn. We're just kind of stalling a bit, but that's... Yeah, I'm not gonna... Hey, here. The, the thorn runs away now. Okay, very good, very good. Um... Herbals versus, versus Caldera is actually a pretty tough choice for me here, I feel like. Uh, I think I'm take Caldera. And I think the reason why is Caldera will be very good against uh, the bones that we're going to be seeing here soon. Oh, Peanut Shell must be equipped? Oh, that's so weird. Oh, whatever. It's, it's good on this team still. Don't get me wrong. I just didn't realize it was a must be equipped item. Strange. Okay, we're taking some heavy damage this turn, because you did manage to roll your left side here right away, which is kind of unfortunate. I'll take these. Okay, we hit into hit, which is fine. We exert you this next turn. We can save both you guys, which is nice here too. Okay, that's fine. It should hopefully give us enough time to recover. That was a lot of damage we just took this turn. Um, honestly, I'll take this, sure. Take that. Okay, pretty good overall, I'd say, here. If we need it, we've got, uh, we've got Infuse here, which we don't even need it, so that's good. I'll take these. Pocket, don't worry, you're doing great work, buddy. Ooh, we get a little fart cloud coming in. One into you should be pretty good this turn. I think just getting rid of the poison also pretty good. We might just have lethal here, actually. Hold on. We do just have lethal. Okay. Very cool. Uh, citrine ring. No application currently. I don't hate, like, Silver Imp on 001 here, but it's not that good. You know, actually... Just this in and of itself is already good enough for me. I do not hate that, so. Play it this way. We got a bones now we gotta worry about. Shouldn't be too big of a deal, but, you know, hey, it's here, right? Play it like that. Probably exert the ogre this turn. And we can scald if we need to. But we pretty much have this one wrapped up, I think. Uh, we could roll better. Honestly, the cleanse heal's not that bad this turn either, but this is even this is even better than the cleanse heal. Put this here. Scald into burst, and I think you run away here, right? There we go. Easy one, easy one there. Uh, spine versus rogue. I think I'm gonna take rogue here. I think spine is fine, but I think I think we can do better. And I don't think this is quite the line for us here. It's not the worst thing ever. Doesn't look that good to me, though. A pocket's taking lethal damage. If we can take out this snake, which we can do, it looks pretty good for us this turn. I'll settle on this. I will definitely exert the slate here. That looks. All this looks very good to me this turn, pretty much. Okay, we can we can kill we, if we kill the bones slate dies yeah this is just fantastic I'll settle for this just to be just to be safe here who knows maybe we just whiff this one real bad oh kind of funny we don't whiff it but if we made if we made the bones run away with the pocket we wouldn't get the uh, bone splinter there uh poem and ritual dagger both look kind of bad on this team to me I think I'm just gonna go for a random instead droopy hat 
sort of a amazing item. Very happy to have that here for Caldera. And we've got we've got a lot of boys here to kill this turn. We've got we've got work to do. Definitely take this. I'll take this to be safe. A rogue dodging is pretty good this turn. Um Just looking around. I was gonna say, I figured you were targeting here. Kind of an anemic roll on Vampire this turn, unfortunately, but, uh... We don't, we don't have any more rerolls, right? Yeah, okay. Overall, pretty good turn. Oh, you know what? Killing you doesn't matter this turn, because you're, uh... What's it called? You're, you're getting dodged. Okay. Uh... Yeah, that seems fine. That seems fine to me. Put this here. You know what we could do, actually? No, you're getting dodged as well up here. I was going to say, we can kill the bones. That's not even that good, though. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll just burst on Vampire this turn. That's fine. Pockets gets weakened, but Pockets not even that important of a character, so whatever. Dude, these illusions love rolling their left sides. It's crazy. They're kind of going off. Okay. Definitely put this here. Definitely need to kill this bones. We put the poison on Golem this turn too. And I think we probably just burst the illusion as well to again stop this uh this weekend coming in. Gotta say the Sudal uh, insanely low rolling. Thank you, Sudal. You could have killed our ass here today. Just rolling ones over and over again, which is kind of funny. Okay, heal doesn't do much here this turn. I guess I'll settle for this. Okay, looks like we are going to be potentially losing. Oh, we're not losing actually. You're 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 staying alive, your acolyte. Very cool. Okay, Pocket is not gonna die here this turn either. We should be able to get lethal. We can very easily. Cool. Okay. Again, very lucky fight though. You know, I'm not gonna reroll Rogue here. Rogue looks pretty good into this fight. Druid also looks pretty good into this fight, and Alien looks terrible, so no thank you. And I, I lost a run recently where I tried to greed on this fight specifically, on the on the Sarcophagus fight. This team feels pretty good against Sarcophagus. I wouldn't be shocked if we could get the kill. We're not going to try to force the issue here. If we need to, we're going to play this very defensively. Um, exerting on Sarcophagus looks pretty good this turn. Okay, um... So we're surviving right now, but the bones you're summoning is very concerning. But, oh, man. I think we're gonna greet it. I think we're gonna greet it here. We got the we got the poison on Sarcophagus here. It doesn't look too bad this turn, as long as we can kill these bones, which I think we can do pretty easily, it looks like. You just go like this into like this into some good old fashioned scalds there hold on right yeah, yeah that's that's in incredibly easy for us okay might have been a slightly better line there but I don't want to go find it you can't you can't make me do it uh this is actually pretty bad this turn for us which is kind of funny oh that's really good though okay if that gets us there. A little greedy, but it wasn't actually that scary. And we get a sling, which is worth very little to me, but uh, I guess it's fine on, on Caldera here, right? And I think with that, we might want to actually put the Droopy Hat somewhere else, so that way the Caldera has less HP, so it triggers Underdog more often. I think that's fine. I'll take Troll Nose here. Troll Nose, especially with the with the Peanut Shell, actually looking pretty sick here. So I like that combo quite a bit. I think we maybe just do this actually now too. Right, because the Vampire has self-healing. So it feels like a waste of the Peanut Shell uh, Troll Nose combo, if you will. So that makes sense. Okay. There's a lot of guys here this fight, I'm noticing. I'm noticing a lot of boys. Um... 
going to take these, I think. We're going to look for some mana here so we can go for a balance, I think, this turn instead. If we don't find the mana, which is very not good for us. Hmm. Just looking around. We can put this here, I suppose. We're setting up for a Scald's next turn, as is. Need two more bones, very annoying. I think I just take this, probably, this turn. Okay, there's our mana that we're looking for. So we can hit, like, Scald... Doesn't look amazing. Yeah, it doesn't look amazing. Okay. It's not there's there's probably a way to finagle this though. So there's no reason to injure this bone here, I feel like. Well, there's a reason to save the pockets, I suppose. But um can we do maybe this up here? Here and then uh, here. Then, if we do this, ah, man, so close, so close to staying alive. Yeah, un unfortunately, there's not really a way to save either of you two, it looks like. Let me just take this, take take the losses here. It's fine. It was a little bit of a rough, a rough combat. We can hopefully recover next round. Okay. And we get Mimic versus Sphere here. I like Mimic on this team right now. Two, two mana sizes. That's pretty solid. Um. Yeah, let me just go next. Okay, Druid and Mimic once again under fire here. There's a lot of a lot of guys. We made a lot of guys on the field. It looks like. However, we got some pretty good dagger hits here, which means I think we can do some work. And we and we might not save Druid this turn. We should be able to save uh, Mimic for this fight. Which I think is, I think, again, slowly but surely recovering, right? That's the idea here, I think, at least. So, Scald kills this Sniper, which is very good for us. Rogue can do nothing this turn. And we pass, and we should be able to win this next turn, hopefully. Yeah, okay. First burst. Cracked wheel versus demon horn. Uh, these are both kind of bad here. We don't have anyone with zero blanks at all, so demon, uh, cracked wheel not very reliable here. Could put it on row, and then we lose out on the cantrip value, which has been pretty good for us. A okay, nunchuck looks okay here. Doesn't have really a, 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 a use case currently, but very good chance that when we upgrade one of these. Uh, these red characters will have a mana gain side. And then we have, we have nun Nunchuck value, which is pretty cool. Okay. They hate me again. They really do not like me here. And unfortunately, we don't have a good way of dealing uh, with these zombies. So that's not great news. But uh, hopefully we'll be fine either way. So we can get we can get some pretty decent uh, Caldera value here, for sure. We can hit like uh, probably the Fanatic here for two mana, right? And then something like that. Oh, you're targeting the wrong person. Shit. Who's who, who's targeting the Druid here? Oh, the Shade. So it's the Fanatic and the Shade. Okay. Really bad news for us. Um. Hmm. 
What if we go for the the bone here then instead? And then we kill we kill the imp. Caldera does get to live, which is pretty cool. This kills the bones. I think this is an okay line. Unfortunately that druid just is, is stuck in the in the vortex here. I think they can get out of it pretty soon though, hopefully. Um This kills Fanatic, which is cool. So Rogue is living this turn anyway. I think we'll just be safe then. Oh, we get a dodge here too. Okay, very nice. In that case, I'm actually going to use this on the shade. That way it's very easy to kill next turn. And now all we have to do is just kill this zombie. Shouldn't be too hard to get there. Try again. Okay, cool. You get an anvil. No, I want to keep the nunchucks. Like I said before, this should have good late game value here with whoever our... Or like mid latish game with whoever our uh our uh reds are forsaken not one of them though unfortunately i'll take sharp shot here it's a bit it's unfortunate that we're not going to get the uh the what's a who's it's you know the uh the roulette but i think this is pretty good value we, we need to survive this rotten fight because this is gonna be pretty scary with how many bones there are so i think we need to just go focus on on offense right now and this should do a pretty good job of that i imagine Okay, um, a mimic kind of sucks here. We can do this, which is kind of neat. Make 10 mana off that, which is pretty good. That's fine, okay. Yeah, that's a fun little combo. The Caldera, mana gain, underdog hit, and the copycat. Pretty good stuff. Okay, nice and easy fight. I mean, on a magical team, Blinding Bolt should be very strong. So I'll take that. Probably just put it, I guess, on, on Mimic here. I don't think it matters too much where it goes exactly. But uh, that seems fine, I guess. And we got a lot of damage coming in this turn. Which is always a little spooky. I think we'll play these. Although we could do the copycat combo again, which would be pretty cool. And a kill shot is also pretty strong on Sharp Shot here. Uh oh, I flew too close to the sun is happening. Oh, never mind. We're good. We're good. So what we do here is is this into this for sure, and then we just start to working on these bones because one of you must be targeting the the, the sh vampire. Yeah, there we go. Um, probably just burst shield, I guess here because vampire can heal himself. Okay. Okay, the AOE damage not actually that spooky this turn. We should be able to manage that just fine. I'm actually going to roll for a mana hit here and then combo with the sharp shot. Doesn't really matter which one we hit. We hit. Okay, that's good. Um, put this here. Okay. That works. Shaman versus dice. I think I'm going to take the dice here. I'm not the biggest dice fan, and we lose a lot of mana, which is unfortunate. But um, I, Shaman's not that good for this team. Although, actually, Shaman gives us access to a really strong cleanse spell, which we don't have anything of right now. And balance isn't that important. We don't really need it to spread damage for a Caldera Skull. We're, we're doing that pretty well on our own anyway. Um, I'm going to try Shaman out here. I think Shaman doesn't make much mana, but the size themselves are good enough, and we should have enough mana generation with the other two characters to utilize the spell well. I think this is okay. I think we maybe do... Yeah, the, the peanut the peanut troll combo. Okay, looks fine to me. Okay, Mimic getting his ass absolutely beaten here. Which is not great news for him. Okay, we can we can kill the chomp, which does save the mimic. Only problem is that Caldera and, and Sharpshot are still dying then. 
We can do this, but now Caldera is still dying. Okay. So Mimic might be a lost cause today, then, which is unfortunate. Yeah, it's looking like that might be the case. Um... Hold on. This looks a little better to me because it gets through the uh, the anti magic health on on demon. I think that's okay. Okay, we'll we'll pass here. Goodbye, mimic. We'll see you later. And the demon just keeps summoning, which is very bad news for us this turn. I'll take these. Okay. So, trigger this on Demon. Just looking, just thinking. You can do like, uh, you're, you're targeting Shaman here. You can do this into Scald. Doesn't look too bad. And then we can we can kill you. Well, that's not that good. We probably just do this. Everyone stays alive this way, but we have so much damage coming in, and the demon summoning two more imps is really annoying. Hmm. I, th I think this has to be the line, no matter what. Here, right? I think getting the underdog value on Caldera is pretty good here. Could just do this into Scald. Into kill the demon here. Hmm. Yeah, it doesn't look great no matter how you slice it here, really. I think killing this imp is pretty important. I oh, mean, then the bones living here sucks. It's so close. It's so close. Feels like there must be a way to make this all work, but I just can't see it. We do this into this into Scald. We're still getting the summon off. I think this is the best line for us here. The Null's exerted at least in the next turn, so that's nice, but things are rough here for sure. Yeah, we're taking a billion damage. We can instant kill something, which is good. Let's just see how this currently looks. So we do like probably this, honestly, into Killing you, putting a shield here, and then all that we lose is Vampire, and it's two imps and a null left. This feels like we can win from this position, but it is very dubious. And let's see what Caldera can roll to, because we haven't gotten Caldera's roll yet. Okay. We just settled with the two mana. It's probably pretty decent. Doing this seems pretty good. Right? I think you gotta kill up here. And we can't save them both, unfortunately. Then we settle for the one save here. We can get off an infuse before Vampire dies, which I think is worth it. Okay. A null exerting. Put this here. We do this. Caldera goes down to one. We should hopefully be able to heal him next turn, and the, and the Null's exerted this turn. Okay, guys, come on. Get it together. Okay, that's good enough for now. Oh, before I do the heal, actually. Oh, it doesn't, it doesn't count as... Oh, this, isn't the, this is not the underdog side. Never mind. Okay. Just do that then. 
It's us versus one null. Save this just to be safe. Oh, and there we go. Okay, we, we survive. A very narrow fight there, but we make it through. Uh, <laughs> Trolls Blood 2. Regen here versus Flute. Am I crazy for liking the flute more, I think? I don't know, it's kind of a kind of a tough choice here. I think I just want to cover up an X on like Mimic. I don't know, this is debatable for sure, I think, but I think this is maybe a little bit better. I don't know. Gotta remember that I have the blinding bolt down here too. Oh my god, everyone fucking hates vampire today. What the fuck? Is a vampire is dead. Double ghost eliminate. Vampire is not gonna survive this shit. Let's be let's be very upfront about that. So let's target whoever is not targeting the vampire then. Um. Probably just take this thorn out here too, while we're not dying. Uh, put this here. Let me just try to set up for a scald line next turn. Although, ah, man, you know what? No, we need we need to we need to prep these ghosts for for uh, what's it called? For for getting their ghost mode broken, I think. I think that's okay. Yuck, though. Okay, vampire is getting completely obliterated. Clan's looking pretty good this turn with the Shaman. He's with Caldera and Mimic alive. Take an instant kill here. That'll kill one of the ghosts. Other than that, we kind of just need mana. Definitely take that this turn. Okay, the flute kind of coming in clutch here. Pretty happy about that. Okay, while you're... Yeah, definitely do this to get the underdog value. Uh, I don't even I don't even want to kill the ghost here because we can just do the cleanse here to negate the poison coming in. I kind of want to stop damage if I can. That seems fine. Okay. Okay, we got some eliminates coming in here. Pretty pretty good damage this turn though. Okay, and we we guaranteed win because because blind. Oh, never mind. Blind can roll the left side and kill us. Okay, but that's fine. Be lethal anyway. Okay, only losing vampire there doesn't seem too bad. Weaver seems very good for this team, it's extremely good. Let me make sure there's no insane twin combo here, because last last episode I actually had uh, I had Jester's Cap uh, twin, which would have been pretty decent. Um, but I don't see it being that good here. You have like flute, and that's about it, basically for for combos with Jester or for for twin here. And Weaver seems like the maybe the literal best blue we could have on this team. So I think I'm okay with that. Uh, no sling combo anymore, no nunchuck combo anymore. We'll just put it here, because it combos with, with Mimic's range attack in theory. Okay, otherwise it doesn't seem too bad for us. Um, I think we want to put... Oh, you know what? I'm stupid. Look at that shit. That's crazy. Plus two on the flute is really good. I should have realized that before. I just have this ring doing nothing this whole time. And we should put the we should put the blinding bolt on vampire. We're starting with four HP. If they get targeted, we're gonna want to be able to remove that targeting as quick as possible. I think this is fine. Okay. We can just do this for the first turn. Put a heal on Vampire. You know what? We can roll better on the on the Vampire. The, the 10 heal is kind of wasted this turn. Hmm? 
Okay. My bad, never mind. This is what we're doing now. You know, I kind of don't hate the cleanse this turn instead. So Mimic's actually like a usable character next next uh, round. That's pretty good, I think, to me. We even takes a little bit of extra damage for it, but Weaver will be fine. I'm not too I'm not too worried about it. Uh, let's try to roll better on Weaver here. That is better. Crush. Into crush. Into kill here. It's just kill here, whatever, it doesn't matter too much. And now Vampire gets weakened this turn. We're doing some good things with flutes here, so that's nice. We get this lovely combo. Although I think we're not going to be able to save the Mimic, unfortunately. It doesn't look like it's going to be happening here. Yeah, tragic. Any more rerolls? No. Some nice damage off at least before Mimic dies. That's cool. Like the cleanse. Pretty sure we win this, although it is a little tragic the way it went down, I guess. Uh, okay, we have the hat, so we don't have to spend our mana yet. Shaman not surviving either, by the way, obviously. Again, it is unfortunate, but whatever. Hmm. Kind of a bit of a whiff here. Guess we just pass again. That's a lot of spiders. There's a lot of spiders that we have not done a good job of actually handling yet. But if we roll this Weaver charge side at any point here, we're pretty much set. So whenever you're ready, game. There we go. Very cool. Thank you. Thank you. I'll even roll here for a little bit more mana. I think it's worth trying to get. Okay. Kill Tarantus. I should use. Hold on. I should put this down probably here first. Kill Tarantus. Uh, crush, crush. I burst. Heal here. Okay. These three can win this. If we if we lose from here, I'm going to uh, explode. I think. I don't know how that's even possible to lose in this position. I think so. You know. Okay, maybe this is how it's possible. Is we just like completely and totally whiff on everything? That could be how this shit goes down. Okay, Weaver, you have, like, you know, three mana sides, and you need you to roll one of them. Okay. There we go. Thank you. A little healing. Spider leaves. Okay, cool. Deadly Bolt versus Sushi. Um, no one can really hold Sushi well on this team. Deadly Bolt. Deadly Bolt's fine. Let me make a Deadly Bolt. We cast a lot of spells. We make a lot of mana. I think it's worth it. Slap that on Weaver for now. I guess technically Vampire could use this. I guess you could use this sling too, actually. I should have this somewhere. Okay. Okay, Sharp Shot. Do you have a dodge? You do not have a dodge, really. Okay. I'm gonna keep all of these. So who's who's really killing you? The fanatic's killing your ass. That's ten damage coming in, and then this is seven damage here. I think we're losing the sharp shot. Hmm. We can't actually. You know what? We can save his ass. That doesn't look too bad. The AoE weaken on Basil's here is very annoying. But 
I think we can we can pull through this one. Oh man. I need some mana rolls for this to be worth it as well. I think we actually don't go for it. I think with the zero mana on the pool, we're better off just looking for you. Okay, well. We would have hit, but even then, it was pretty dubious, so I don't mind the line we took here instead. That doesn't look too bad. Okay, I think I think we've recovered here. I think we've done a good job. I think we're going to have a good chance of making it through this fight with no one dying. We're out of the vortex, and we should be thriving. I'll take this turn just to be kind of safe. And... I think we're going to do a little cleanse action here, if I had to guess. Well, let's do this, actually. I think that is better, and we'll pass here. Yeah, we look, we, look, we look pretty good from this from this position. I, I I'm not worried at all. We get the we get the the fun little chain combo here, which kills the basilisk, which is very good. And uh, yeah, we have lethal good. Okay, nice. It's been a while, but we're finally at full health. We also have uh, five I uh, assume skeletons and reinforcements here, which is kind of funny. Doesn't seem that spooky to me. Uh, va Vampire has been great this entire game, but on this team, Fate is very obviously the correct answer here. Should be incredibly strong. So, you know, maybe Droopy Hat should go on Weaver too, by the way. But I like I like uh, Blinding Bolt on Fate here, probably. Should be able to get some pretty sick value off of uh, Strand. Take this. Um... You can do better on Sharp Shot this turn, I think. Yeah, whatever. I'll settle there. So. This goes here. Probably do the, the cleanse into... This here, because it triggered a save because of the, uh, the Blinding Bolt, which is really funny. And then Hmm. We just prep the barrel for death here. Maybe we just kill the barrel actually. Do not hate that line. Let's save mana for next turn in case we roll Weaver Charge side. Could be very strong. Yeah, everyone is dying, but I am not even the slightest bit worried here. Especially, especially if we roll charge. Even without charge, we're looking pretty good because we get to do strand stuff. So for example, strand. 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 And we get to go like... Uh, we need to do this into strand. Right? And then... Uh... Let's see here. So the funny thing there is the spell the, the blinding bolt killed the uh, bone that was targeting mimic, so it triggered the the save again. So yeah, that's just that's just like an insane amount of value we just generated out of like pretty much nothing. I think it's pretty neat. Um, I guess we can just do this. Doesn't matter too much. Yeah, we're. We're set. We win this one. Shaman taking a little bit of damage up top there, but I think I think they'll be fine for the most part. Yeah, they're looking pretty good. Unfortunately, no more mana. Pretty pretty lackluster charge side here. But we just have lethal anyway, so whatever. Uh, overflowing chalice should be strong. The problem is we don't have great characters for it. Um. Yeah, we just have bad characters, unfortunately, for the, the the chalice. We can put it on bait, and then this shield side gets fizz. That's good enough, probably. But it's a little, it's a little weak. We have no one to hold the angel feather here, which is meh. Whatever. 
Okay. Take these. These all look pretty decent to me. Kill shot looks very good this turn. And mimic rolling very well as well. Okay. Um. We're gonna do one of these. I think we're gonna do another one. Is my guess here. That puts Banshee in kill shot range, like so. Uh, Hydra, Hydra doing the weakens really annoying this turn, but not much we can really do about it. But we have enough defense. And I'm not, I'm not too worried here. Okay, you're targeting, you're targeting. Okay, we can kill the bones and the sniper here. Bait does not die to the Hydra bite. You're very weak in this turn. You're at negative one. I'll hold this, though. Well, it requires us to roll. Yeah, actually, we're, no, we don't hold this. We might be losing faith this turn, unfortunately. Oh, we're not losing faith this turn. Okay, very cool. Extremely good turn for us. Holy shit. Very well-timed dodges today. We'll just take out the... Oh, actually, we could do... This into this. That's pretty good. Okay. Okay. We are probably just killing the Hydra with normal damage now. Almost certainly. But, um... Uh, hold on. Technically we do this. Oh, no, we, still, we don't have an underdog here. Whatever, it's fine. That does it. Uh, huh. I These are two of my least favorite tier 3 greens. I think the problem right now is that our, our Mimic is actually really solid. And I do not believe that I want the other green characters we could get here instead. Let's take a peek. All right, we could hit... We can hit Robot, and we can hit Luggage. Luggage is not terrible. If we had, if we had Robot, for example, what would we do here? Like nothing, pretty much. I think Mimic is better than both these choices. Obviously, Luggage could give us some very good items here. But I think Mimic, with the size that we currently have, works with the team very well. I think it's just a Mimic take here. It should be fine. Not too worried. Now, we do need to kill the shit out of these Wisps this turn. Extremely good roll there from the Sharp Shot as well. Because we get to do a little Charge side now. Or a little Mana Gain side, I mean. Off of it. Okay. The bad news is that the Wisp is summoning four bones. But, meh. As long as the Inevitable is not doing his big flank move, I think we'll be fine for the most part. We can actually just take this turn off and not feel too bad either, it looks like. No one's even dying this turn. You can do one of these. Yeah, I think it might just be a pass. You got very lucky that Inevitable followed up that uh, that exhaust cleave with uh, the bite. That could have been very nasty otherwise, I think. A okay, very good turn for us here. Um, we're going to do this into how do we do this exactly so strand doesn't save anyone right now which is kind of unfortunate but if we do hmm. we need to double burst i think should be fine maybe we just do oh you know what? no we do this oh i'm stupid okay yeah we do this i think now we have some pretty cool stuff going on now we do this, and then we can do probably cleave into hit here, into cleave, into shield here, 
There's probably a better line to do this for. Uh, but that's good enough. Let's not let's not be too nitpicky here. Take the three mana. Okay, we get some we get some strand value here. We get some cleanse value here too then. It's six weekend. This is cleanse two, right? Okay, well. Not much to actually be cleansed here, unfortunately. Oh, I should do uh this. Okay. Um, in that case, I'll just put a burst here. Yeah, the 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 flanking the flanking uh weaken gonna be hard for us to handle. The only real thing they have against us, basically, is that. But, uh... I don't know, I think otherwise we'll be okay here. Um... First. What do I have? I have okay, we do this into this again. And then we can shoot for nothing, and we can block for this. Okay. It's slow but steady here. Eventually we'll kill him. It'll just be a little while is all. Mm. Okay. Um. Burst into burst into... I guess I guess just do nothing. I guess we we can burst twice here. Okay. And now the inevitable is uh he's healed himself, but now we actually have a turn to do some damage. Which is pretty nice. No way to get any real strand value here, because I don't think Shaman has the blinding bolt, yeah. Um We can do this. Oh, okay, we can do this. Which is fine, I suppose. Uh, and then we burst. We need to burst again to get that intangibility down. Ooh, the big exhaust hit here is pretty scary, but we can cleanse it off, so it's not that big of a deal. We're not going to get a charge side here. I'm willing to roll on, roll on Fate this turn. Okay, whatever. Fate still gets the dodge. Um, Definitely go for the cleanse. Into burst. Probably just into burst to get your last little bit of intangibility down. And we sh should be able to kill you this turn. Yep, we can. Okay, good. A little, a little bit of a scary inevitable fight, because we didn't have great burst damage against him, but, uh, you know. Oftentimes, it does just feel like as long as you have, like, a fairly competent team, you can just, uh, whittle him down and not be too worried. And the, uh, bad against the flanks, but the shaman spell, really good against that, that, uh, that spread exhaust move. Which I, I, the first time I did that, I might have just had mana to, to cover that, I just, I just didn't realize. But maybe I was focusing too much on, on, or maybe I was correctly focusing more on the wisps that first turn and less on preventing the exhaust i don't know debatable for sure uh anyway thanks for watching hopefully you enjoyed the video a uh, little bit of a of a slow run there just because of you know the magical team took a little while but we got there pretty cool pretty cool uh tragic that we didn't have a better blue character for overflowing chalice like uh, i don't know what we would want there exactly maybe maybe wizard would be the best choice it should be pretty easy to enable a wizard with a chalice on this team. But, um, overall good stuff, though, still. Anyway, I will see you next time. Goodbye.